Lord be here with a Bible blessing. 10 reasons we should read and study the Bible on a daily basis. In this first video, I'd like to give you the first five reasons. And then in a second video, I'll give the following five. So number one, we should read and study the Bible on a daily basis because it is an act of worship. And as human beings, creatures of God, this is our highest moral obligation. Jesus taught, you should worship the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And John chapter four, verse 24, says that we must worship God in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And it is God's word given to us by the inspiration of God the Holy Spirit, that our God is revealed to us. Our God is made known to us in the pages of scripture. Throughout the world, people worship false gods, and that's gone on throughout all history. Men devise gods of their own making, false gods, gods that can do no good, and that can do nothing profitable for humanity. But in the pages of scripture, we have the true and living God revealed to us. And as we read and understand by the help of his spirit, we draw near to God and our hearts are made fit to worship. So we must read and study the word of God in order that we may worship him in spirit and in truth. Number two, it makes our faith strong when we read and study the word of God on a daily basis. And that's Romans chapter 10, verse eight. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now you will remember in many instances in the gospels, Jesus criticized his disciples and described them as being weak in faith. Oh, you of little faith. And that's the way we are also. When we have trials and troubles, we forget God. And sometimes we even go further and blame God. But when we read and study the Bible, our faith grows strong. How is that so? Well, we learn about God's goodness. We learn about his faithfulness. We learn, we learn about his power. We learn about his wisdom. And as we learn, about these attributes of God, we also learn to trust him. We learn that he is greater than any problem that this world can present to us. All things, Jesus said, are possible to them that believe. So our faith is made strong and vibrant and fruitful when we read and study the word of God on a daily basis. Number three, we read and study the word of God because it allows us to grow spiritually. In the New Testament, some Christians are described as being babes in Christ, still carnal, which means fleshly or earthly, earthly minded, and not spiritual at all. And other Christians grow and come to maturity and they bring forth fruit and they honor and glorify God. They are able to strengthen their brothers and sisters and bring sound counsel and sound doctrine to their families, to their communities and to the body of Christ. So how did these strong Christians grow to maturity? Well, because they spent time in the word of God and that's in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. It says there, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. The word of God to a believer is like milk to a child. It nourishes and strengthens it. And as a child feeds on the milk of its mother, it begins to grow. It grows healthy and to maturity. 
And so it is with the Christian. The word is our milk. The word is our food. The word of God allows us to grow spiritually. It teaches us the difference between good and evil. It teaches us the benefits and privileges that we have in Christ. It teaches us the consequences of evil action and nourishes us in sound doctrine so that we grow strong in the faith. So if you're weak and feeble, turn to God's word, spend time in it daily and see if you don't grow spiritually and grow strong in faith. Number four, as we study the word of God daily and read it, our mind is transformed. And that's Romans chapter 12, Romans chapter 12, verse two. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed in the renewing of your mind. This world presents many temptations to us and there's peer pressure pressure for us to conform to the ways and traditions of this world, which are evil. We all want to fit in. We don't want to be in conflict all the time. But this world is evil and we must not conform to it. So as we read God's word, our minds are transformed. We become heavenly minded and we set our minds and our hearts on things above where Christ sits at the right hand of God. Number five, the scriptures bring comfort as we read and study them. And we need much comfort in this world. That's Romans 16, six. It speaks about the encouragement or the comfort of the Holy Scriptures. We have trials in this world, don't we? We have troubles, we have difficulties, we have sorrows, we have sickness, and it's easy for our hearts to fall into that distressed mode, isn't it? And many people today are depressed and many people today are at that tipping point where they feel like giving up. But remember, as you study and read the word of God, that's one of its great benefits. It brings encouragement and hope to the heart. Hope for your own heart so that you know that God can intervene and make things better and change your circumstances. And if he chooses not to change your circumstances, he can give you the patience and strength to endure. And as he gives you that comfort through reading and studying his word, you are able also to bring encouragement and comfort to others. So I want to encourage you, that's today's Bible blessing. Read and study the word of God daily in order that you might receive its many rich and wondrous blessings. Dennis Corkery here, thank you for joining me. And please remember to subscribe to Bible Blessings Ministries.